Uh, for me, it's usually kind of obvious when I when I run out of steam because I'm more of a sprinter, so I have a, I feel like more of a finite uh, amount of, of energy that I can use before I seize up in a race, and and um, the the feeling is pretty easy to describe. I just I'll be skating, feeling great, and then suddenly I'll feel like my legs. Sometimes they feel a bit numb, but they won't move properly. Other times I can just feel the you know the lactic acid pooling in them and and preventing them from, from really uh, firing into the ice as, as well as they were before. And, and, uh, but in, in a lot of my best races, you, uh, you know, I've been so focused and, and so into what I was doing that even though that's happening, I'm still you know, keeping my flow and keeping the, uh, the rhythm of, of my, my stride, and, and that can prevent a lot of the problems caused by that physical barrier. Um, for me, uh, when you get to that moment in a race where fatigue hits so hard and, and your body wants to crumble out from underneath you. Um, when it gets hard to push through that, usually I try and think about um, the boys in my training group being right in front of me because I skate um, with three guys pretty often and, and they're, always, they're always leading because they're stronger than me and all year all I've done is basically force myself to, to not let them drop me whenever we're on the ice. So if I can think about one of them just being right there trying to shake me off the back, then usually I can, I can get a little bit lower and, and dig a little bit deeper. And I, I also feel like it helps because it's not something that's actually happening in the race that, that makes you start to panic. It's something kind of fun to, to try and get you going a little bit farther. I've had a lot of races where that happens and it's really hard to get by, uh, especially if you're paired with someone and you see them pulling away from you and you're like, oh no. <laughs> But, um, I, like, yeah, I think the biggest thing to deal with is that it's a mental distraction. Um, and you have to refocus mentally and you have to make sure um, that, okay, my body, like, wants me to stop. But my mind is in control of my body. I tell my body what to do. My body's not telling me what to do. So you have to just try and, like, stick to the plan that you had going into the race. And, um, and I mean... Sometimes I'll be like, oh great, I'm not gonna beat the girl that I'm racing against, but I'm just like, well, it doesn't mean that like, I still can't be second, you know? Cause you don't know, you never know. <laughs> so, and who knows, maybe something happens to them anyways, right? So um, it's not over till you finish the race. So it's just about trying to, try and it's, it's totally a mental battle.